Guys, after a, a week of an ice storm followed by a second week of torrential rains, we ain't got a lot of progress to show people, so we're gonna we're gonna show you our chicken operation, or at least uh, the uh, some of the egg layer operation anyway. And also, uh, Grub Terror sent out these sent out these worms right here for us to try out, these black fly larvae, and we're gonna tell you what we think about that as well. guys i'll tell you first what i know about this grub terror they reached out and asked if they could send us some to try didn't didn't put us under any kind of contract or anything there was not a paid advertisement or any of that but we said sure anytime we can get something that's nutritious for our chickens because what i've read up is the black soldier fly larvae is better than grub worms because it, it has the calcium that the grub worms lack and what i like about this is this one pound bag right here I want to say it's 20 pounds, if I remember correctly, of food waste that does not go into a landfill because of it. So every every pound bag they sell, that's 20 pounds of food waste that's out of the landfill. And anytime that we can uh, be more sustainable or do something green, we w in a, that's reasonable within our budget, then we'll do it. So go ahead and open that up. By the way, this is this is a Elijah. He's he's the what, what's your title? not chicken wrangler official chicken tender the official chicken tender i don't i don't know if that's that either but anyway he's the head the chief chicken tender that's it chief chicken tender he makes sure that every daily that the chickens are taken care of and he's gonna give them a nice treat here that they don't usually get if he can get into the bag all right chief chicken tender Let's see if you can open the bag now that the top's cut off. All right, call your chicks in. Red chickens. Red chick, chick, Post chick, them chick, chick. they'll come. Let's see if they like them. think they know what to make of it because they're not used to having anything outside of their feed <laughs> besides what they got there and forage in the woods <laughs> this is going to be good for them well while they chowing on that we're going to go in here and look in the chicken coop <laughs> so this chicken coop we just bought, built it out of again being sustainable and green this is all, this was all scrap, pieces of metal that wasn't big enough to do anything hardly with. So we built it to height to fit our metal. We also like the lower roof on it. I have to duck over a little bit, but it keeps the heat down on them a little bit better in the winter. So all this wood was destined for a burn pile, landfill, or somewhere, you know, when we demoed some buildings. So we brought it here. And what I have, there's a raised floor because we're on the hillside instead of grading off a spot. And having a dirt floor, we did a raised floor, had some treated plywood that come out of a floor of an army barrack shower, believe it or not, it was three quarter plywood. Had some fiberglass glued down on it that we couldn't get cleaned up and had a couple holes in it and we patched up. So it's got a treated floor and we use this deep bedding system. So it keeps the smell down as long as you keep coming in here and adding another layer of material on top of it. And there's various things you can use, but what we use is, right now you see sawdust down there, but we use mostly shavings from, from a planer at a at a local sawmill or either off our own planer in our own sawmill here. But when we don't have time to make any, we go get it free from there and it sa saves it from being hauled off and just wasted out into the environment. Because here, it breaks down with the chicken manure. They scratch it all in and it turns it into garden compost. It, it turns it into potting soil, basically. So, and it also keeps a layer of heat down there in the winter. We don't use any kind of heaters and we just came through a week of single digit degrees at night and, and below freezing all during the day and didn't have any issues. We run a light over there, but that's just a regular LED light bulb. So there's no heat coming off of that. That's just to help them give them more daylight hours inside here. We also, being green, 
our ministry here because after all our ministry we're a christian ministry and we're trying to be good stewards of what the lord gave us and that means not to waste anything that we can help within good reason that doesn't hurt the ministry and he's here this is just where we shred our paperwork with stuff documents that stuff that we don't want to get out there in the trash or we'd, we'd have to burn it if we didn't shred it instead of going to the landfill shredded we mix it in with this sawdust right now but the shavings whatever's in here we sprinkle in here with this and it breaks down just as well and i know some people might say well chickens might eat well they're going to eat a little bit of the sawdust too anything goes on the floor but it's not going to hurt them chickens are amazing filters and just like that grub terror uh worms there that black fly larvae they they're taking that food waste in return turning it into food for these chickens and these chickens are in turn turning it back into food with us, for us along in the in the version of eggs and meat but that's that's the tour of our chicken facility the egg layers are some of them we got some more scattered around that's doing various jobs they like it Let me give them some show you guys up close what this looks like it's like pretty good stuff for a chicken and it says it's for chicken reptiles fish and birds so eli is going to give them a little bit a couple times a week when he comes out here to that bag's gone and any guys that's wanting to try some we have a we have a code down in the description below where you can get get a, uh, some savings on it and order some for yourself if you'd like to Thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. As always, God gives the glory for the good in our lives. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Feel free to reach out to us at the email in the description below for any prayer requests or questions you may have. God bless.